Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language we use every day, one word at a time. My name is Benjamin Lewis. If you're interested in history and language, subscribe and make sure you click that bell so you never miss a word. Let's take a look at another simple word today. We're going to look at the word light. Light. Noun. That which reveals or makes things visible. Also the object that emits energy that makes vision possible. History and etymology. Today we're going to work backwards, starting from the modern word light, going through its Old English word Licht or Liocht. I can't make those sounds very well. That's what we call a hard H. Um, so it's Licht or Locht, like Loch, Loch, Loch or Bach. It's that kind of a sound. And so this word goes back to the Proto-Germanic Leuchtam. Leuchtam. I believe that's how that's pronounced. Um, which meant light, daylight, and spiritual illumination. Ultimately, the Proto-Indo-European word Leuch, with an original meaning of brightness. The etymology of the word light is pretty straightforward, flowing straight from Proto-Indo-European to Proto-Germanic and right on into modern English. Now, the interesting thing about this word comes in when you look at the spelling. Now, when the French invaded England and they wanted to try and transcribe some English words, they had a hard time representing the hard H sound I mentioned earlier that sound, the loch, or bach kind of sound. So that's why we get the letter G inserted into the word light, because that word used to have that. And so that GH you see there is just an artifact from people trying to transcribe the sounds from a language they were unfamiliar with, with sounds they weren't used to using. Now, eventually... We did drop the hard H from the word light, and now that GH just makes it kind of a what we call a long I sound, so light. Prescription and commentary. So one of the main reasons I wanted to do the word light is because of this free speech debate that's happening in our society and in our little corner of the internet. And one of the phrases that's tossed out is, sunlight is the best disinfectant which essentially means if you can see the hatred, you know where it is and it's not hidden and you can actually fight it and try to help people come around to a more reasonable way of looking at the world. And so I wanted to look at the word light and how it's used in some historical contexts. So I looked at the word light in Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. That shows you how people have used different words to translate other words that were meaningful at the time. And one thing I found that was very interesting is one of the Hebrew words used to translate, or one of the Hebrew words that is translated as light in some translations of the Bible the word actually means window. At first, this didn't quite make sense about why the window would be called a light. Um, but then I thought, well, we call light bulbs lights. We, we even have a skylight, which is essentially just a window on the sky. I thought this fit very well as an analogy for trying to hide something. So, or, you know, exposing something. Because when a light is turned on, it exposes everything in the room that was in darkness. So, opening a window or closing a window could do the same thing as turning on a light or extinguishing a light. And I think this analogy stretches to free speech, too. If people aren't free to express their errors, if they're not free to express their beliefs... If even if they're wrong or right or whatever, even if they're hurtful, if they're not free to express them, how do we know what issues need to actually be cleaned up 
or corrected. If we don't have this light of freedom allowing us to see what's around us, to see what's in people's hearts, what's in their minds, we're not going to be able to correct. Well, we couldn't even be corrected ourselves. We might hear something coming from someone we vehemently hate that may change us. That will illuminate us, as I mentioned with one of the uh, previous words, the Proto-Germanic Leuktam, the spiritual illumination. We, if we cut off freedom of speech, we may be just hurting ourselves and condemning ourselves to a life of darkness. Thank you for watching. If you feel like you've learned something from this video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you never miss a word. If you feel like supporting my project, there's a link in the description to my webpage where you can find more ways to help support the channel. And for those of you who have been following my channel since near the beginning, I would like to apologize for the lack of content lately. I was trying to do simple words because I thought it would be easier to get those done, but they've all been boring words that I have just lacked interest in. So. I'm going to go back to doing what I started out doing with my channel. I'm going to make political commentary about the words people are using. And I'm going to start with the word socialism next. I'm tired of hearing people tell me that I don't know what socialism is. Well, we're going to do a deep dive, find out what it means, what it meant, and where it came from. And then we'll probably move on to something, another word, capitalism. So, until next time, keep on learning, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.